Well, here we are, the 11th of October coming up, um, and this will be our first week for our in-person worship. Obviously, we're going to be taking all the precautions that we need to do, uh, wearing masks, practicing social distancing, using hand sanitizer when we come to the church and when we leave to the church, and uh, just uh, generally being aware of uh, the providing a safe and a worshipful space for one another. Now, I realize that uh, some of you may choose not to come to church this week, and I am encouraging everybody to do what feels the right thing for you, uh, your best wisdom. And for those of you who will be coming, uh, I can imagine, like me, it may be somewhat um, of an anxious time. Um, I see my cat has joined me again. I've already put her down once when I started recording, but I think she somehow likes to be here. And I must admit, I find her presence very comforting. So as we begin in-person worship again this week, and as we continue to provide uh, for people who would prefer to stay at home, I hope there'll be some options so that you can do what is right for you. Tomorrow we are hoping to live stream our service and also record it. So hopefully once uh, all the glitches are uh, ironed out, we will be able to offer that and people will be able to join us virtually for worship or watch it later. And of course, I'll also continue to send out the lessons and I plan to continue these Vicar's Voices that I do just to give a few words of encouragement and connection. Um, so um, this week I thought I would go back to my trusted uh, soul support. You know, I have this uh, little bag full of spiritual uh, guidance, little words that can be helpful. As I explained to you, uh, I found that my brain has certainly been affected by this pandemic and I'm not able to take in huge chunks of information. Um, I'm actually wondering how I'm going to do preaching for the first time tomorrow. So let's see what the card says. Um, this one says, honor what you love. Honor what you love. And what comes to mind straight away for me, um, I'm wondering what comes to mind straight away for you, but what comes to mind straight away for me is that actually I really do love preaching and I've really missed actually being able to preach, even though it makes me very nervous and I get very nervous the night before and I worry about whether I'm saying things that are helpful or not helpful. Um, and usually, though, once I get started, um, I'm usually I usually do OK and the anxiety disappears somewhat. But I, I love preaching and also I love celebrating the Eucharist and I've really missed celebrating the Eucharist with you. I really love um, it when I can stand at the rail and uh uh, distribute the elements, the bread, um, in normal times, the cup as well, although we won't be doing that this time. And I, I just, it's just such a wonderful moment for me to be able to uh, be with you in that mystical space of God's love. So honoring what you love. And I wonder what that might mean for you today, that you can honor what you love today. Well, for those of you who um, I will have seen or will be seeing, I'm grateful for that. For those of you who I won't for a while, um, know that I keep each one of you in my prayers, praying that God will bless each one of you, that God will keep you, and that God will continue to hold all of us in the palm of God's hands. I love you. Bye-bye now.